Hey everyone, in the front of the camera here, I have the new for 2017 Kershaw Hops. It's model number 5515. And before I get into the actual knife here, I'd like to make a shout out to another YouTuber who actually mentioned me in one of his videos, and that's JT's Knife Life. Uh, he actually has one of these hops and he also has the malt in so he'll be doing I think videos on both of those so I will put a link down to his channel um, as kind of a uh, thank you for shouting out to my channel uh, passing that on to him and uh, definitely check out his videos because he will have some videos on this as well as well as the malt because he has both in and he has some more of the 2017 Kershaw's as well and he actually is a fellow left-handed individual but he does carry on the right side and he actually has a video on why he does that so definitely check out his channel for videos on um, more of the Kershaw's uh, he does a lot of modern folders as well uh, on his channel so definitely go check that out I'll put the link down below in the description so let's get on to this this is the Kershaw hops model number 5515 this is a collaboration with custom knife maker Gustavo Ciccini. Uh, he has GTC knives and I believe this is based off of a model he calls the Micro in his custom knife line. Uh, that's just based on looking at his Instagram. So this is a very small knife that Kershaw is producing uh, under his design and I think that this shows that Kershaw has been listening to its fans and the fact that we wanted something that uh, is a little not different per se, but uh, has nice colors and you know little extras to it, kind of like we saw in the entropy with those orange reddish uh, standoffs. And this has a nice blue anodized pocket clip as well as blue anodized standoffs. And the malt as well has a blue anodized pocket clip and a backspacer, uh, not instead of standoffs, that's also blue. It has a very similar two tone finish on the rest of the knife as well and the malt is a little bit larger has a three inch blade it's also a compound blade uh, it's based off of uh, Ciccini's designs um, and so Ciccini has the malt the hops and the Kershaw line and he has also a zero tolerance that he has going this year so we're getting some neat designs from another custom knife maker and I like that these are based off of his customs just like Kershaw does with a lot of the collaborations basing it off of a custom that you know hey most of us are not going to get be able to get our hands on but we get similar to that design not the same materials not the same fit and finish but hey we get a cool design from a custom knife maker uh, that we normally wouldn't be able to get our hands on so the reason I went with the hops versus the malt is because on the hops you can reverse the pocket clip tip up right or left hand carry on the malt it is stuck on the right side there is no left-handed option so that's why I went with this uh, typically I would go for the little bit larger version of the malt because I prefer a little bit more blade and handle length uh, but I went with this because I wanted to check out one of his designs that he was doing with Kershaw and this one I can carry now that pocket clip is kind of a similar design of what Kershaw has been doing uh, but it's a very small version of that where it's not really a deep carry but it secures very well in the pocket with the two screws instead of a you know deep carry clip that we're used to seeing on Kershaw with the loop over uh, so it's a reversible tip up left to right it's a very small clip uh, carries all right in the pocket I mean it's I'd prefer a deep carry clip but it will do it has a very small lanyard hole which I really doubt you could get 550 cord through it. Maybe if you got it, you could, but yeah, I don't think you could uh, without gutting the 550 cord. So we'll take a look at why this flipper is unique. And it's very similar to the malt in that sense. They have the same flipper design. It's a nice two-tone finish. Uh, pivot is only adjustable on one side with a Torx bit which is good I like when they have that instead of a free spinning pivot where they have torques on both sides and you need two torques drivers to adjust the pivot so speed safe technology as expected and a budget Kershaw uh, they do a lot of that 
an exception to that would be the Kirchhoff fraction that I already have a video on. But yeah, so you have a very small little drop point on here. This is about a two inch blade and it's a kind of a drop point, full flat, yeah, full flat ground blade. Uh, the malt has a kind of tanto, tanto uh, compound grown uh, based off of Cicini's uh, design. But this is also pretty neat. So you have, uh, this is gray PVD coating which is on the flats of the blade as well as part of the handle. Then we have a satin finish on the raised part of the handle and also after the grind line, the grind here on the blade we actually have satin as well. So overall it's very aesthetically pleasing, very unique and the lines that are milled into this handle are very similar to what I saw on his site in the custom version which is the micro. Uh, of course, that would probably be in titanium, better steel, and whatnot, but hey, are you going to be able to get your hands on that? Probably not. This, these are very readily available. And talking about how easily available these are, well, these, comes in, these come in at $25, which is a good price for a budget knife from Kershaw. So let's take a look at the blade close. We got Kershaw Speed Safe. So we have assisted opener on the other end here we have model number 5515 GTC design Kai patented HCR 13 MOV and then in the corner here we have China overseas produced knife from Kershaw. Overall if you have blade length restrictions this is a great knife for that because hey it's under three inches. But if you have assisted opening restrictions, which uh, some states in the U.S. do, I believe, and uh, some countries do, well, you're out of luck because, yeah, this is assisted opening. I'm not sure if you can de-assist it or not, um, but, yeah, that is a disadvantage of some people when you can open the blade like that, even though, you know, if you look at the fraction that I had, which is a manual open knife with bearings, that thing deploys just as fast, if not faster, than having an assisted opening method. So it's kind of a funny way of looking at it and a lot of those laws are outdated. This is a frame lock. Locks up very well. Don't detect any play in this. And one of the neat features that he has in his knives, uh, the GTC knives, is the fact that the flipper disappears when open. So it's kind of hidden. There's a little bit sticking out but it's pretty much hidden beneath this which uh, is neat, but at the same time, if you're gonna do anything cutting on a flat surface, you're not gonna have a lot of blade, considering this is only about a two inch blade, but you're not gonna have a lot of blade that you can actually use to cut down because that comes out so much. And so, you know, if you're cutting like up away from you, you know, cutting quarter cordage or whatnot, you'll be fine because you'll still be able to use the blade back here, but cutting on a flat surface, you're not gonna be able to really use the blade back there. You're gonna have a very minimal amount of blade that you can actually use because of the way the flipper hides down there. Uh, overall, this is a really attractive knife, and I like that Kershaw has been listening to its customers and the fact that we want stuff that is not plain, gray, black, um, you know, stone wash black wash blade you know just plain knives so we're getting nice little aesthetic aesthetic touches with these two-tone ways they're doing with the handles and the knives and nice little accents with the blue anodized hardware which you know you don't always get on budget knives but kershaw has been listening and i'm sure it's not extremely expensive for them to do and it's something that will satisfy their customers so giving a comparison here, let's look at another very small Kershaw knife, and that would be the Kershaw Ember, designed by Rick Hinderer. And this is very similar in design to the Cryo, with that gray coating. It's not the same gray PVD, I don't believe so. I believe this is like a titanium nitrite coating, and this is the PVD coating, so it's a little bit different coating. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is, looks like the cryo, and it has the very uh, plain look to what I was talking about, how Kershaw has a lot of, or some of their older knives don't have a lot of color or uh, contrast to them, 
they're very plain and it's neat that they're listening to customers and making stuff that looks more interesting. Uh, so very similar in handle length and blade length to the Ember. So very, very small knife. Of course, the handle is a lot wider in this dimension on the hops here than it is on the Ember. But about the same amount of cutting surface and because of the way the blades are ground, it's very similar in the amount of belly that you have on the blades, except you have more of a clip point on the Ember. Uh, taking a look at the weight, let's take out the scale here. All right, let's let zero in. So we're looking at 3.06 ounces, which considering that this is only a two inch blade, very small blade, seems a little heavy. Still not extremely heavy. If uh, this is the only knife you're carrying in a pocket, I'm sure you still won't notice. But yeah, a little bit heavy, and that's because this is all stainless steel uh, compared to the Kershaw Ember here. We're looking at 2.36 ounces. This is also all stainless steel, but yeah, it's a little bit lighter. And I'm guessing because there's less of a handle, it looks a little bit thinner. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner. They're both speed safe though. Overall, the GTC collaboration here with Kershaw, uh, Gustavo Ticini, the Kershaw Hops is Really neat, uh, really ni nice design. I like the malt as well, it just doesn't work for me because I like the carry on the left-handed side. But they both have this flipper. So open, it hides away. But when we're closed, it has this kind of hook to it. Well, what's that for? That's for opening bottles to uh, beers or non-twist-off sodas imported from other countries. Uh, if you're in America, you know most things in America are twist-off, but if you get an imported soda from Mexico, uh, like the Fantas, uh, you know, like the grapes, the strawberries, pineapple, Fantas that are imported, you actually need to pop those off because they don't have twist-offs over there. Um, so, but this also works on non-twist-off beers. Uh, and the malt does that as well. So, we will actually try that out. So I have, not something with hops, but <laughs> an Angry Orchard Hard Cider, green apple flavor. I don't actually have any beers with hops or malt in it to show you, but hey, it's still going to work. It's a non-twist off. And to kind of give you proof of that, let's take a look at the cap. It says use bottle opener. So let's take a look at how well this performs that function of taking off a bottle cap. Uh, missed the grip a little bit there. Oh, there we go. So I didn't really have a good grip on it the first time, but yeah, it did take that bottle cap off with no problem. Uh, not as great as a dedicated bottle opener that you'd have maybe sitting around in your kitchen, but I would compare it similar to how a Victorinox Cadet or another kind of multi-tool functions as far as opening up a non-twist-off bottle. Uh, so overall, I would definitely recommend checking this out if you like really small knives, and if you want something a little bigger, uh, check out the malt and like I said at the beginning of the video, check out JT Knife Life's um, YouTube channel because he has uh, some of these Kershaws as well. He has videos on them. And yeah, cool little knife by Kershaw. They make some more mid-size EDC knives, but they do sometimes come out with these cool little small knives. And you got a multi-function so you, so you can open your bottles if you don't have a multi-tool with you. So uh, comment down below if any questions or anything. Uh, like this video if you want. Uh, subscribe for more videos. And as always guys, thanks for watching.